Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit, that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. What are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet the Holy you Gospel, have made them to Saint little Mark. less than glory divine. With glory and honor the you crowned them. Who had come from Jerusalem gathered around you have Jesus. Made we noticed that some of his disciples the were of your hands, that is, without washing. You have put all the things the under and their Jews feet. Do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands. All flocks and cattle, 
Lead them in the, the wild the beast, the soft dog feet. There are also many other traditions that they observe. The birds of the air, pots, the fish of the sea. So the and whatever passes him, along the paths of the sea. But eat with the oh hands. Lord, our Lord, Isaiah how majestic is your name in all the earth. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandments of God and hold to human tradition. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
says the church today of her Alleluia. Today it dies until it rises with Christ at his glorious resurrection. There is a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to laugh and a time to weep, a time to mourn and a time to dance. I heard a voice of a great multitude in heaven crying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Alleluia, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen. Children, it's time to bury our Alleluias. I invite you to take your piece of paper with the word Alleluia on it and get ready to bury it in the black box until the time when we celebrate Easter. We bury our Alleluias now until that day when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in joy and in gladness.
Dear friends in Christ, let us ask God to bless these ashes mixed with garden dust, which we will use as the sign of our repentance. Lord, bless the sinner who asks for your forgiveness, and bless all those who receive these ashes. May they keep this Lenten season in preparation for the joy of Easter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 